annotations are overlays over the actual video. Right now, YouTube supports only text annotations and you can put them right on the top of the video. It hides the content of the video but it's very effective because annotations support linking and can be used to make the viewer take action. You can use them as call to actions. You can ask the user to click on the annotations leading to a different video, maybe uh, leading to the subscription button or you can ask him to uh, click on the annotation and go to a different website or sometimes you can use it just to communicate with the user. Is there anything that you want to tell the viewer? Is something missing in the video or you want to add on to any content in the video? You can use the annotation to communicate. So this is the purpose uh, why annotations are pretty effective as call to actions and as uh, a communication medium. Later we will see uh, the demonstration of the annotations but first let's learn about all the different types of annotations that YouTube supports. So it's time now to learn about the different annotation types and how you can use them. To access annotation, edit your video and then click on the annotations tab over here which will load your video and show you the add annotation button. The video is divided into two parts. The top is actually the preview where the, you see the actual video playing and the bottom part right here is, is a graph where you will actually see the beginning and the end of the annotation that you put in. We'll just see that in a moment. Let's see what type of annotations there are. There is the speech bubble, the note, the title, the spotlight and the label. The speech bubble will create a speech bubble as the name says and you will have a little arrow pointing to whatever direction you want. If there is something that your presenter didn't say or something that you thought of later or something you wanted to add, you can use the speech bubble. For example, I have this character and I want them to say something. I can add annotation, click on speech bubble and then I can just point the arrow to them and I can type the text over here or whatever they want to say. And I can increase the point size, I can, I can of course I'll have to increase the uh, size of the bubble first and this is the end time, this is the beginning time code and this is the end time code and I can change it a bit, I can, I can make the speech bubble last longer or shorter, I can play around with this and decide when it should begin and when it should end. I can also set the color of the background but there are only two choices, I can have either white or black of course, uh, this is for the foreground actually and this is the background, I've got some more choices here but uh, the problem is that there is a little bit transparency involved so the color is a bit offset it's a bit dull it's not as bright as you would think of course on mouse mouse over the transparency goes away and you can see the bright color and coming to the graph that i was telling you about you can change the beginning and the end of the annotation by dragging the corners like this so right now it's beginning at one minute inside the video and ending at the third minute you can play around with it you can make it shorter or longer whatever you want right so that done let me tell you what's cool about annotations click on link over here and you can point the annotation to either a video a playlist a youtube channel a google plus profile page the subscribe button if you put in the subscribe link then when a viewer clicks on the button or on the annotation they will be subscribed to your channel. A fundraising project, of course it has to be approved by Google. The associated website, Google gives you the option to associate a website with your channel and you can send the viewers to that particular website or your merchant account on YouTube. So this is what the, hold on, let me just pause it. Uh, of course the audio is already uh, set to mute so no hassles there let's go back to the annotation so this is what an annotation looks like but we've got a bit more we got some more stuff you can choose the speech bubble whenever you want people to say something because that's the only place it makes sense 
or you can have a note. A note is just a square box in which you can type some text. So a note is more like a message uh, from you to the viewer, a note from you, uh, but it's not like a speech bubble. The character is not saying anything. The third one is the title. The title is actually some just an overlay text overlay so uh, you can type the title and it's a big big uh, title by default it's a big sized uh, text by default and you can only go this small so you can use a title if you want to put in something really really noticeable you can just see here that a title doesn't allow you to link to any place so i don't use titles much maybe you want to put in a title for the video and you forgot to put that in the video itself you can use it the third one is the spotlight. I use the spotlight uh, whenever I have a graphic on screen. I will just put the spotlight around it. For example, see the graphic here. Uh, I can put the spotlight around it like this. And just make it size it according to the graphic. And then I can uh, actually ask the viewer to click on the spotlight and it will do something. So whenever the uh, viewer moves the mouse over this area, over the spotlighted area, the spotlight will become brighter, the borders will become brighter. And then I can, I can, I can connect this to a link, maybe send them to uh, some place else, maybe ask them to subscribe or whatever, and they will be led to that part. I use it to lead them to other, other videos or other channels or other playlists that I have uh, associated with the video that I've created. Then we have the label, which is like a spotlight, but it lets you type in some text. So this is my label text. So when people move their mouse over the label, they will see the label text, which makes it a bit more interactive. And you can use the label text to show the viewer some information uh, connected to the area that you've, and you've annotated or the area that you've put the spotlight around. So these are the important uh, annotation types, the speech bubble for people, notes to just send a message to the viewer, title to put in a big title on the uh, video page, spotlight if you want to have uh, a graphic on the video and whenever people click on it or whenever people uh, move their mouse over the graphic, the, the, the border should light up and when they click on it, they can uh, have some sort of action like leading to another video or something like that and finally the label which is like a spotlight but with a little text box at the bottom where you can type in the information and of course you can link the annotation to either a video a playlist channel google plus profile page subscribe button or the other three stuff which i don't really use except the associated website so this can be a pretty exciting way to add more to your video content, to make your video more interactive and to lead your users, to lead your viewers to other content on your channel or to the other stuff that you have. Of course, it won't support links from other websites and those you have to put in in the descriptions.